And welcome, everyone, to This Week in the USHL. Bernie Corbett, and uh, soon to be joined by Paul McNamara, and soon to be joined by our first guest, Jimmy Mullen, forward from the Fargo Force, and most recently a star for the U.S. Junior Select Team, which won its third consecutive gold medal at the recently completed World Junior A Challenge. Uh, That team was made up of 22 USHL players and three USHL coaches. So you could say the USHL had an exclusive. You'd be talking very accurately. A perfect 4-0-0 record and uh, a third straight gold medal defeating Canada East, Canada West, Sweden, and then Canada East again to win the gold medal. In the final game, the United States was trailing 4-1 but scored 5 unanswered to win 6-4 and claim the gold medal. Scott Mayfield from Youngstown, previous guest of ours, was named MVP of the tournament. And uh, Mayfield and the man that we have on the line, Jimmy Mullen, were named to the tournament All-Star team. And we want to welcome Jimmy Mullen, our USHL player feature this week. And a great place to start with the tremendous weekend you had, not only representing the USHL, but representing your country. Congratulations, Jimmy, with your gold medal performance. Oh, thank you very much. Well, you were the leading goal scorer with six. We were named to the all-tournament team. Uh, got off to a great start with a hat trick in the uh, opening round. What about the overall level of competition uh, at the tournament? You saw Canada East twice, once in the opener and in the gold medal, also Canada West and Sweden. Could you give us a little bit of an overview about the uh, competitive level of the teams in the tournament? Uh, it was really competitive, and especially with the, when we played Canada with their fans on their side. So the tempo was really high. And uh, getting to play uh, against Canada in their home country was also another challenge. But uh, the overall play was it was hard, it was fast, a, a lot of skill. So it was um, something I haven't experienced uh, like until this year into the USHL. But it's just uh, one of those experiences where I always remember it. And uh, it seems like you enjoyed the opportunity to uh, kind of mix and match a little bit in an all-star scenario and play with some of the guys that you've been competing against uh, the last couple of seasons in the USHL. Yeah, I made a lot of friends that trip and uh, a lot of brothers, so it'll be good to uh, have this contact for the rest of my life, and that'll be something I'll never forget. Absolutely. Unique experience. You'll think back to uh, the gold medal and uh, nothing but fond memories. That was quite a comeback that you guys put together in the final game. You were down 4-1 to one, but seemed to be unfazed and stayed calm. Talk a little bit about that down 4-1 and then getting five unanswered to come all the way back and uh, win the deciding game? Well, uh, we relied on scoring goals and making plays uh, the whole tournament, and we weren't going to let that 4-1 deficit uh, sort of push us down. And But our, our Coach O'Hanley always said that there was going to be, um, uh, we want to say, like a storm at the top of the mountain, and we were almost at the top, and it <laughs> keeps getting worse and worse. And when it was four to one, Coach Hanley pretty much came in and said, "Guys, we knew it was going to be a blizzard, so um, <laughs> you just got you just got to keep uh, you just got to keep going." And um, Zarnik sort of had a couple snipes to get us back in, and along with a couple other guys, and um, put us into the position to win that game. And uh, you grew up in uh, in Philadelphia, and a uh, big uh, Flyers fan, and they've had some close calls with the Cup in uh, recent years. That's uh, probably. Uh, been a good experience for you rooting for a team that uh, has uh, such a great tradition with the Flyers going all the way back to the Broad Street Bullies and the Stanley Cup champions of the 70s. Yeah, um, I'm probably one of the biggest Flyer fans I know and still am even after the draft. But um, I, I think that uh, the Flyers, and I think uh, with uh, young talent, and I, I try to watch them and try to be like one of my favorite players, Claude Giroux, on the team. So it's good to watch them and um, I learned some things when I watch, and I got to go to a lot of games. Um, my dad and like all my cousins, like they're huge fans, and hold my whole family is. So it's it's good to go back and watch them. Hey, you mentioned about the draft, and it's noted you were the 118th pick, a fourth rounder, uh, selected by the Tampa Bay Lightning. But uh, must have been a little bit agonizing. The Flyers had the very next pick, and uh, that would have, I guess, fulfilled the dream, and uh, and then some for you if you had an opportunity to uh, think about. Uh, wearing the orange and black of the Flyers. Yeah, that uh, definitely did <laughs> come into play. I got a, a text message actually um, during the draft saying that we're gonna we're gonna take a, we're gonna take your next pick. I don't know if that's legal or even if I should say it, but it happened. <laughs> and um, 
and then I guess uh, Tampa traded up, but I couldn't be more like I couldn't be happier. I just I didn't even know if I was even going to go into the draft to be honest with you. So getting picked um, is a huge honor and something that um, I've been striving for. But now I just gotta keep going harder and try to perfect my game so I can be there one day. Well, this is your first USHL season, and you went to a school which is uh, certainly. Uh, given uh, has been given great notoriety in the world of hockey, and that is Shattuck St. Mary's. There's been a couple of players that have gone there before you, but uh, you had 72 points last season in 55 games. And uh, what about the uh, decision-making process that uh, sent you to Shattuck St. Mary's? Was it uh, looking at guys like uh, oh Sidney Crosby and a few other people that have uh, gone there in the uh, the recent years? Yeah, um, it definitely that definitely helped. But um, Mr. Parisi, Zach's dad at the time was like one of the coaches slash scouts. And um, when you hear Zach Parisi in the same sentence, and their dad's trying to recruit you to the school, it's sort of, <laughs> it's sort of like, wow, I guess I, I guess I should come here. Um, I got lured in, and um, it was the best decision I've ever made. And I, um, from every one of the coaches I had, like I, I love that school to death, and it was hard for me to leave. It's definitely one of the things that um, I'll always remember again, and uh, I'm gonna go back every chance I get. Oh, you had a great experience there, of course. Uh, J.P. Parisi was a an outstanding NHL player in his own right, and is now the father of an outstanding NHL player, Zach Parisi. So you had that experience, and now you're playing for uh, your coach this season, Jason Herter. And I remember Jason very well as a standout defenseman at the University of North Dakota not too long ago. Uh, was an assistant with Fargo uh, during their inaugural season back in 8 09 on the coaching staff with Dean Blaze, who brought the team to the finals. Dean Blaze is now in the college hockey ranks. And what about that experience uh, playing for Jason, who's got such a fine hockey pedigree? Oh, we we definitely have a great coach on our hands, and we just got to buy into his systems, and he definitely knows what he's talking about. And he's been taught by the best, and he's taught uh, a lot of kids too. So um, it's definitely a great opportunity for us and the team, but um, we just got to – bond together as a team and buy in and and pretty much uh, get out of the slump that we're in right now. Well, best of luck with that. And also want to note that you've committed to play college hockey at the University of Miami and uh, at, excuse me, at Miami University. And uh, you're going to be a Red Hawk uh, down the road. And uh, that has been a great uh, program. Uh, they've had so much success with Enrico Blasi. And uh, I'm sure that that's something that uh, you're looking forward to. Yeah, I'm more than excited. Uh, signing the National Letter of Intent was uh, a great moment for me and uh, really exciting, so can't wait to be a Red Hawk. Jimmy, thanks very much, and uh, we appreciate you coming on and joining us on this week in the USHL, and I suspect uh, that we'll be talking to you down the road probably uh, once again this season as uh, the USHL campaign moves along. All right, thank you very much. Jimmy Mullen, our guest on this week in the USHL. We'll be back.